What's up, everybody? Grumpy Giant coming at you from my Skyblock Paradise. Well, we've had an eventful run the last couple of episodes. We got, you know, Astral Sorcery mainly done. Uh, we, we got uh, Tinkers mostly done. What we haven't gotten done is much of any meaningful automation. And that, my friends, is what today is all about. Uh, we are looking to automate all the things over time because, of course, we can't just, you know, jump in and automate all the little things because we've gotten we've gotten quite a ways into this pack. Uh, we still have a long ways to go. Uh, but with the opening of extra utilities with the last episode, we get the good stuff now. So, without further ado, we need to get into the very first quest to open up the rest of extra utilities and that is to create all the different transfer nodes and the transfer pipes now i went ahead and uh and crafted the fluid one because i wanted to automate the liquid starlight production up with astral sorcery uh that being said the recipe for the transfer pipes has been changed in a very good slash confusing way uh they made the recipe it's the same recipe as it always is it's just a little bit of stone slabbage some glass and some redstone but it makes 64 transfer pipes i'm used to maybe 12 at at best it makes 12 uh 64 64 that is incredible and i will i will take it um but what we need to do is make the the transfer nodes and which ones did we need? We needed the transfer node for items, transfer node for energy, the fluids one we've already gotten done. All right, well, that's that's simple enough. So let's look at transfer nodes for items. is going to be a chest, a couple of stone, some redstone, and a transfer pipe. Well, that should be nice and easy. And I'm only going to make one recipe of this for right now because we can come back in and, and continue on. And then we're going to need some stone. And I, I went ahead and did this. I've got a uh, crate full of cobblestone being pushed down into this powered furnace. And then that pushes out into this uh, compacting drawer. We've got almost 12,000 smooth stone. Uh, makes it nice and easy when we need the jewels and things out of smooth stone. Easy peasy. I uh, did a very similar setup with coal, uh, charcoal, because that's the easiest way to feed our uh, our mana spreaders over there. Uh, in any case, uh, we need some redstone as well. We'll just grab a bunch of redstone. And then we come over here and get our transfer node items a git. And then transfer node energy is a block of redstone and some gold. Well, I don't have any gold up here. But we can handle that. That's that's pretty easy. Uh, I only needed two, but hey, you know, four works. Four oh, works, and we got we have enough redstone. Sweet. So let's get that. We need a block O oh, a redstone. Transfer node energy. A git. Is that what we needed? Yeah. All right. Quest number one. A finito. Uh, luckily, the chicken wing ring is not a lockout as far as I can tell um, so basic GP generation we're gonna need a manual mill and a solar panel I don't know that we're gonna be able to do the solar panel just yet uh, so let's look manual mill for the manumatic is right there so that needs polished stone a resonating redstone crystal which is an ender shard which ender pearl plus a glass cutter which is three iron and a stick well, let's go grab some iron. I need to make more iron here pretty soon. And a stick. I must have done something else with the sticks. Well, you know where we can get sticks? Up here. Easy. Up easy. Let's grab uh, an ender pearl. Because this will make eight of those little shards. So we go... Oh, I lost it already that which is that guy so we've got that plus the ender pearl gives us eight ender shards the ender shard 
plus for redstone is a resonating redstone. I'm going to grab a stack of redstone. Uh, we're going to need more sticks than that, too. Might as well just grab a stack. We'll make it easy. All right. So we have our resonating redstone crystal, our polished stone. Uh, okay. Well, since that's going to take a good long time to get up there. I don't know why I did two recipes of that, but hey, that's cute. Whatever. We'll just finish that out. We'll do eight because we're going to need that anyway uh, here in just a minute. Uh, and then we need this, which we're going to need a, a plank. All right. So we need four redstone torch eye. And then we can put this little bad boy together. Get the manual mill uh, done. All right, so our manual mill is complete. So let's look for the solar panel. Oh, we can do that. That's just three lap eye. Well, that's, that's easy. Easy peasy. Um, these don't produce a whole lot of GP. There are much better options. Uh, so we won't be using this stuff more than just to get started. Uh, we'll get the, um, uh, what is it? The water mill? uh I, if if that's what the way the quest wants us to go so there's our solar panel done let's let that ding there we go it dinged uh and then see so now we can do the chicken wing ring we don't need to do the chicken wing ring so the resonator is up next so we need to look at the resonator and this is what actually allows us to produce stone burnt which is the big part of what we need to be able to make the other uh gp generators so a block of coal, well, I got to, oh, no, wait, you know what? I might have some coal down here. In fact, I have a block of coal right there. Uh, we're going to need a few more pieces of stone. Uh, so let's just make, no, you know what? I don't think we are. Resonator. No, we, we just need iron. You know, I should have just grabbed a bunch of iron to begin with, but I did not. Because, you know, that's cute. So we'll need another of the resonating redstone crystals. Uh, we need the iron. Okay, yeah, well, that's uh, that's one way to do it. Oh, I already forgot that recipe. This whole thing got me all in a twist. All right, resonator, get. Uh, so what we can do, we can just find a little place to set this thing down. Like right there works. And we'll put the manual mill on top of it. And then all we have to do is sit here and right click on it and it'll run. The, the whole time the resonator will be getting GP. Uh, we're not producing any additional GP right now. Um, but what we'll do is we can take this polished stone and put it in. And let's just click on this for just a minute. I'll show you what it is. Uh, until we get this to be semi-automated with water mills or lava mills or fire mills or the list goes on, um, until we get it automated with some of those, it's really a matter we just get to sit here and wait for this thing to hit 8 GP and boom, it resets. And we, have, we now have two stone burnt. Um, each of the mills is going to take at least, let's look. Uh, actually, let's look at the quest book because that probably unlocked... Uh, one stone burnt, one lunar reactive dust, and a red coal. Okay, you know what? Let's do that real quick, too. So we'll need one coal and one lap eye. So we've got our stone burnt. Do I have any coal? Just plain coal down here? I do. I have one. Sweet. So let's get this done real quick. This is going to take a little bit longer, I think, if it'll even do it. Which actually, you know what we should do? We should just pop that down. Oh, yeah, we have three of them. Let's just pop them all down and let them continue to do their thing. Why? Oh, it needs 16? What? Can we not do that yet then? It doesn't look like it. Okay, well, how about the red coal? Nope, that needs 16, too. Okay, well, let's look in the quest book and see 
why that no worky? Can we make the higher tier stuff? I think we probably can. Let's put this in. Why are these not showing up as working? This is 1.84. Hmm, that's that's weird. Okay, well, I tell you what, I will be right back. Let me get some of this stone burnt stuff made. And we'll try to make one of the uh, one of the generators. All right, guys, I am back. Uh, so I went ahead and got the stuff together. I went through a bunch of, of the stone and got 24 stone burnt, uh, which is the number we need to make eight water or four water mills. I mean, uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do, we need to make a bunch of these. So we've got eight of the redstone gears uh, and then we can put together four water mills okay so this is probably part of the advanced quest but we kind of need to get this done so what i did is right down here under the uh, batania platform i went ahead and i marked out an area this is the 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 size you need for four of the uh water mills and those were markers so i could know where to place them so the way these work they're uh they're a little bit weird uh, so they rely on flowing water, okay? They don't want stagnant water next to them. They rely on flowing water. So you see here, this is going to be generating 14. But if we put one right in the middle, now it's generating 16. 16 is the maximum amount of power that any of these will generate. So what we should be able to do is come over to the corners and get 16 out of each of these. There we go. 16, 16, 16, 16. We're making 64 GP right now. Uh, these do have diminishing returns. And I believe that we have hit the mark for the diminishing returns on the water mill. Uh, so yeah, 0 to 64 GP. It's a 0% efficiency loss. So if we want any higher than 64 GP, the water mill is probably not the way to go. I think the way to go would be the uh, lava mill, which can go up to 200 GP. And what I don't see it may uh be disabled uh, there's usually the dragon egg mill but i don't i don't see it it may not be in the pack uh that that one's usually kind of a touch on the broken side anyway so it's probably good that it's not here uh so anyway we should be able to come over here now uh you see we got 64 gp so we can toss this in here and it's going to go on its own we don't need to click um but we can uh, it doesn't really do any, any good. It doesn't change the speed or anything. Uh, the only way to change the speed is to do speed upgrades, which hint, hint is another part of the quest. Once we get this resonator task done, that's going to unlock. Uh, I'm not super concerned about getting that done, uh, but those do come in handy and those will be very good for our automation needs, uh, because we'll be able to get rid of all the hoppers and stuff that are in the mob farm and uh and deal with that very well and very efficiently very cleanly okay well let's do this too while i'm here this is because i didn't really automate this this is how i've been doing the uh the chaos generation the shard generation these endermen these silly endermen all right and now we've got red coal so that should complete that quest right are we really going to need one stone burnt in our inventory? Okay, well, I guess... I guess, why not, right? Right. We'll just toss four in there. This won't take but uh, but a minute. And then we can move on. And I can kind of give you an introduction into the rest of... Extra Utilities. And there's our stone burnt. Is that going to work now? And it worked now. A flawless... All right, so you see we did. We got uh, the upgrades. We got Magical Wood, the Enchanter, Machines That Don't Take Power, which is, a, I mean, that's fun. The Mechanical User opens up a lot of opportunities. The Mechanical Miner, eh, I've kind of, there are other ways to do it, and it works. Uh, so let's see. Advanced GP Generation wants a Lava Mill, a Water Mill, a Wind Mill, a Fire Mill, and a Lunar Panel. 
Uh, so you know what we should do while we're working on the rest of this stuff? We should just go through and make up a stack of polished stone and just let it run in here while we're doing our thing. Uh, and that will allow us to do this probably before the episode is out. Uh, so moving along the indexer, I'm not, I'm not interested in doing the indexer. I'll, I'll do it for the quest completion, but I am not interested in doing it. So let's see. There's the enchanter. There's magical wood. How do we do magical wood? I don't remember. Uh, magical wood is okay. Well, that's in the enchanter. Okay. So how do we build the enchanter? Oh, I lost it. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. There are so many blocks. Oh dear. I should just search. We could do that. An enchanter is an enchanted book over a machine block, diamonds, and an iron. What's the machine block? Is iron and a chest and redstone? Uh, we need a little bit more redstone and some wood. And then I, I already already done. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the enchanter. Machine block. Let's get that. Oh, we get four. Sweet. That's Q. I can take that. All right. Magical wood. Enchanter. How do we build the enchanter? We need an enchanted book. Three iron, two diamonds. So we're going to need two diamonds. We got the iron. And uh, I may or may not have an enchanted book in here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we've got 400 smelting books. Let's use that. Uh, we'll get a couple diamonds. My diamond supply is running very low. I'm going to need to do something about that. Okie dokie. Uh, enchanter, enchanter. Why? Really? Okay, well, okay, we're going to have to build this one manually. That's okay. That's Q. That's Q. And then that... Okay, go in the right spot, you jerk. Enchanter. Look at that. We have an Enchanterino. Let's put it down there. What are we doing here? I wonder how we're doing. Oh, yeah, we're coming right along. Okay, so the Enchanter needs books around it. Right, so actually that's probably not a very good place for that. <clears throat> um, I think maybe we'll put it down in here. Because this is kind of... I've already got an anvil down here, right? We'll put this down here. Let's move that thing. I'm not super stoked on that random things mod anyway. And then we can put the books back behind. It needs a full set of bookshelves, but that's that's fine. All right, so we can do, we have the enchanter done. We'll get to magical wood here in just a second. Uh, mechanical user and mechanical miner. I think we're going to need another uh, ender pearl so we can break it up into shards. And yeah, we've got one of those shards. So let's do this. That plus the glass cutter give us eight more of those shards. That plus uh, four red stone gives us one of those. And then I think we're going to need two because I'm betting that the mechanical miner and the mechanical user both are going to require the redstone shard, the resonating redstone crystal thing. Okay, where is it? There they are. Mechanical Miner is going to need a dropper, which I just need some cobble. Grab a stack, because why not? Uh, some Miner, and then can we do that? We sure can. And a dropper, we sure can. And that, and the Mechanical Miner, get... Mechanical user is another dropper. That's cool. Uh, a lever. That's Q. And 
mechanical user a git. All right, sweet, sweet. There's the miner and the user. Better auto crafting. Can we do these? Uh, there is the mechanical crafter and the analog crafter. So the analog crafter is going to be a crafting. So let's grab some, some wood. Uh, we will do one of these. Hello. One of these. Okay. And one of these. All right. So that should be the analog crafter. We can get that out of the way. And the mechanical crafter is going to need another redstone resonating crystal thing. Uh, we're going to need another crafting table. Easy peasy. And then we're going to need another dropper. Another easy peasy. And my inventory is getting disgusting again. Uh, that's easy peasy. Mechanical crafter, get. How we doing there? Okay, sweet. So that's another quest uh, done. So let's take a look. Basic generators. Oh, it wants us to build all of the generators. Ay, 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 ay. Um, that's, I mean, it's doable, but that's a little bit painful. Uh, let's see. Can we get some of this stuff put away real quick? Yeah, we sure can. So let's leave that stuff there. That, you know what? That is enough uh, stone burnt. So let's go grab a couple more. Let's get that uh, the generators. We only need a two, I think, but that's okay. The power generators right there so a lunar panel yeah so another resonating crystal that's a-okay and then we're gonna need what polished stone well we've got that too and then the three lunar reactive dust so this there's one more okay so we can at least get these in place and then we'll wait on this last lunar reactive dust so let's see what else we have. We've got a fire mill, which is another brick fence, another crystal, some redstone gear, stone burnt, easy, easy. Lava mill, gold, red, easy. And then a windmill, also pretty easy. Okay, well, that's simple enough. We'll be able to knock that out real quick here. So there's the three lunar panels. And you know what? Let's just come up here and put them up here in a goofy fashion because, you know, why not? Why not? All right, uh, fire mill, we're going to need some more of these. Let's just make 12, and then we'll be able to do several of these bad boys. Uh, we're going to need some nether brick. I thought I had some nether brick. I do. I do. Okay, sweet. So... Uh, fire mill, nether brick fence. Oh, that's an easy recipe. All right, cool. That's six. All right, I will take it. Uh, fire mill. We're going to need probably three of those bad boys. And then fire mill, finally, get. So there's the fire mill. Uh, wind mill. We're going to need another one of these things. And the windmill, get. And lava mill, we have everything we need for the lava mill. All right, cool. So there's our advanced GP generation. And that's an unlock of some kind. So now we need to get to the magical speed upgrades, which needs those upgrades and then the magical wood. So we'll be able to do that. Um, I tell you what, give me a minute. Let me get the bookshelves put together and, uh, and I will be, wait, what is that hat? What is that hat? I must have it. Computer. I have a computer hat now. Okay. Uh, I will be right back with you. Let me get the bookshelves together and we will get the enchanter done. All right, guys, I am back. I got the 15 bookshelves that will eventually be converted way down. Uh, so let's just get them in place.
And that should allow us to work. And then actually, I forgot this thing needs power too. So let's do one more extra utilities goodie that we haven't had access to just yet, which is fantastic. Uh, so we're going to need one more of these guys and put that over the top of a stone burnt. gives us four of these wireless transmitters. And then we'll need the base for it, which I am having a hard time locating. Right there, wireless RF battery. So we need a bunch of redstone. We can do one more of these guys. Uh, we can get one block. We're gonna need a little bit more redstone. I'm gonna have to make more redstone between episodes. That's for sure. But that's Q, because we have extra utilities now. So that's Q. And then the wireless battery goes right there. So we can come up here find a good little spot to plug this bad boy in and i'm thinking like maybe right right there why not uh so we need a medium voltage insulated wire and a medium voltage connector so we can plop hello that guy right there get that connected there and then that should fill up wow that was quick all right so we come down here and now these are kind of nice uh, because they will wirelessly transmit power to any block nearby so you see that one's already powering right there boom just like that all right so what we want to do uh we want to get one more bookshelf and i think it needs to be the vanilla bookshelf uh but I could be wrong. Like, we've got one there, but I don't want to take that one. Smiley uh, Grumpy Cloud sitting on it. Oh, yeah, I renamed him. His name is Grumple Stiltskin. He's precious. So let's come over here. Let's build one bookshelf. The nice thing about this magical wood. And then we've got a lapis, and I think that should be okay. That should be enough. All right. So we can put the magical wood and the lapis in and over it. Now this takes a long time, a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, we can speed it up, but speeding up doesn't really do a whole lot for us. Uh, but over time, this will convert into the magical wood, right? So we'll come back and check on that in, in just a minute here. So magical wood is up next, but for first we can make the upgrade base which is very simple do i have any gold in here i have one ingot that's not enough so the upgrade base let's make six we're gonna need at least three anyway uh but the upgrade base is crafted in the resonator using gold unless this changed using gold uh, weighted pressure plates right so you throw these bad boys in here and they will become the upgrade base Yep, perfect. So we have an upgrade base now. Uh, we can do a speed upgrade, and I think we'll do that. Uh, the speed upgrade is going to be a block of redstone and a gold ingot, which we've got one. That's why I saved the one. And we've got the redstone now. So we can do this, this, this. Speed upgrade. Kablam. So let's put this bad boy in there and you can see it's just a little bit faster. It's not, it's not super fast, but it doubled the amount of the power that it requires. All right. So we've got two more upgrade bases now. So we've got five total. I don't want to make another speed upgrade, but we can do the stack upgrade. That's a diamond and a gold ingot. So we can knock this quest line out diamond and gold. So we do that plus that plus that is the upgrade stack. Perfect. And then the mining upgrade is a gold pickaxe. It's always kind of funny to me that that had to be a gold pickaxe. But hey, you know, that's okay. Who am I to judge? And we're out of sticks? No. No. We can't be out of stickages sticks golden pickaxe plus a an upgrade base 
gives us a mining upgrade. Does that complete that quest? No, because it wants this in the inventory too. Duh, that's so bizarre. All right, so those are good now. Let's come down here and check on our magical wood. Magical wood, a git. Did that upgrade? It did. So there is magical wood. So we will need to get into enchanted ingots, which should be, what is this? Enchanted ingot. I should have just left it on that page. Would have been just as easy. So an enchanted ingot in the enchanter is a gold plus a lap eye. So let's, you know what? Let's do that really quickly. And we'll at least get it started. See how long it's going to take. Well, that's not bad. 10 seconds? That's not bad at all. And then we'll look at the recipe for the enchanted upgrade. So an enchanted ingot, get. Perfect. So now we've got the magical speed upgrade. Now let's look there. Magic. Oh, magical. Magical speed upgrade. It's going to require four enchanted ingots around a, a speed upgrade with magical apples, which is apples around magical a wood. So that is a lot of building bookshelves to make magical wood. Uh, but each of these magical wood bookshelves takes is worth two and a half of the regular bookshelves. So that makes that a little bit easier, a little bit uh, more manageable. Uh, so I will do that between episodes. I will get a whole bunch of these magical wood uh, bookshelf things put together and get everything together and we can knock out the magical speed upgrade first thing next episode and move into the rest of extra utilities. Uh, some of this stuff we can do over time. So, you know, it, it's, it's going to be it's going to be a good time. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you guys have a vote between getting into embers or bees or, uh, pneumatic craft or tech reborn, you just let me know. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess, uh, for today, that is all. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you please hit that like button. Uh, it really helps me out. Uh, and, uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing on this channel, slam that subscribe button. Really appreciate that as well. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, and uh, Grumpy Giant, signing out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.